throughout these grade five sessions, I'm going to be explaining the theory of music for you at the piano, because the piano is the easiest way to see how music is organized. And I cannot stress enough the importance of knowing how the piano notes are laid out. So let's look at the piano. So we've got black notes and we've got white notes. And the black notes go in a pattern of two and threes. So we have two black notes, three black notes, two black notes, and three black notes. And that pattern is repeated all the way up and down the piano. As that pattern is repeated all the way up and down the piano, so are the named notes. The named notes are the first seven letters of the alphabet, A, B, C, D, E, F, and G. Normally, the bottom note of the piano is A. Then B, C, D, E, F, and G. Repeat it again. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. And repeat it again. A, B, C, D, E, F, and G. And so on and so forth up and down the piano. Because of this repeated pattern, we find that all the named notes are situated in their own individual pattern. A C will always be below these two black notes. This will always be a C. The Ds are right next to the Cs and they are situated in between those two black notes. Here's a D. The E's are situated above the two black notes. Here. F's are just below the three black notes. Here. Then, if we want, we can also find the G's, always situated in that pattern. The A's, always situated in that pattern. The B's, always situated in this pattern. And we're back to the C's, which we know about. It's very important for you to know all the notes on your piano keyboard. So if I play this, you instantly know it's an A. Let me just play these for you very slowly again. A, B, C, D, E, F, and G. It's particularly important for instrumentalists to know the piano keyboard. Pianists get very used to the layout of the piano keyboard and that's a real advantage. But anyone can get used to the pattern of the notes on the keyboard with just a little practice. If you want to make a further musical connection to the notes, why not sing them? Play middle C and sing it. And then sing D and E and check yourself. Take it simply at first and then progress it. The following Learn Grade 5 Theory.com sessions are specifically designed for Grade 5 Theory and I look forward to seeing you there.